How are we doing? Good. Yeah. Doing good. They have a pretty young room already, but to, to add a draft pick and paint their arms, what about what you think the group? Yeah, no, uh, definitely a young group for sure, and they did a, a fantastic job last year. Really proud of how they played and prepared and tough to go play a, you know, a NFL season with a playoff game after just being, you know, that's what I tell all these rookies, right? You go from the draft, right, and they're prepping for the draft, so it's not like you just have the draft. They're doing all this work since their season. Then they come into rookie camp like they are next week. Right, and they're rock and rolling, rookie camp, install. And then the summer, right, they're sticking around, learning the playbook, training with our guys, and then you hit a full season. So it's like year to year, right? So like after this season, Cade's like, finally could take a deep breath, hang out with his wife, you know, um, get to know Tampa a little bit. So, uh, but to answer your question, excited about Payne. Payne is a really talented player. I think his best football is ahead of him. Um, Payne is a uh, attention to detail guy, you know, just excited, really excited to have him a part of our room. We've got a great group of guys, and uh, I think he'll add a ton of value to us as well. Can you put in perspective what, what Kate was able to do with both I mean, personal, obviously, the adversity he faced with his mom, and, and just being counted on to take that role as a rookie, how he was able to, to maneuver that? And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he obviously a, a roller coaster, you know, season for sure. Um, you know, coming off an injury last year, which was also a bunch of adversity that he had to face, and uh, we really didn't know how much we'd be able to rely on him. Right? We had Cam Brait, you know, we Kyle, brought Kyle Rudolph in, um, and then we were hoping, right, that Cade could really step up into that role. And after losing Gronk and and uh, however, uh, we weren't sure. So, but did a really good job, prepared. I mean, just how he is, you know, top of the, I mean, first class kid yeah. and first class player. So he did a really good job. And then obviously, you know, he calls me, you know, uh, on the way home from work and tells me about the, the incident. And it was just, and we were just, we just tried to really support him, you know, just try to be there for him. And hey, if you got to go, he was like, hey, coach, can I, you know, I don't know. I'm like, hey, Get out of here. Coach Bowles was great about it. Take off, take care, be with your family, handle that. <clears throat> so he wasn't with us for a game, and we were curious on exactly, you know, but then he came back and, you know, handled it professionally. And, you know, I think uh, the support probably helped, yeah. you know, but uh, he uh, did a fantastic job of just getting better, you know, the entire season. You know, I mean, you see that, you know, with from his stats to how he played, but just, uh, just, Really excited about his development too, and having a full now off season to not have to worry about the injury, yeah. so that he can um, just get better at his craft. So seeing a ton of improvement, and looking forward to seeing him play. When you, when you talk about Nick Cade and also Coach coming in, now they're having the experience of a, an NFL off season program, strength and conditioning, and all that. Did, did they need to get bigger this off season or stronger? To hold up in, in, in line blocking, or uh, I'm not sure if they've gained any size or yeah. weight or whatever. If you can speak to yeah, that. no, um, no, good question. First off season they've had, which is <clears throat> anytime you go into the off season, right, right after the season, we have our meetings, exit meetings, and have some goals we set for them, obviously, in line with the training staff, and uh, definitely had some things they worked on. Right, they did a fantastic job with their technique in blocking. Right, especially for young guys, right? Played with really good technique, which is always going to allow you to have some success. And um, like any off season, right? We want them to continue to get bigger, stronger, and faster, right? Um, so some movement stuff, you know, for both of them, without going too far into it, for sure. Um, you know, Coe's just a, such a guy that is is so versatile for us, right? We played him at fullback, we played him in line at the true tight end spot, we played him in the wing. And there's just not a lot of guys in this league that do all those different things. Um, so just trying to continue to um, create versatility in his game, you know, with movement skills and just trying to get him fluid and as well as keeping his physicality that makes him who he is. John, with, with David Allen's coming in, obviously Seattle ran a ton of 12 personnel, 13, a lot of multi tight end views. Is that exciting for you to see? How at least in yeah. Seattle, how important Heck yeah, it is. Yeah, oh yeah. I know more 13 personnel. I'm always down with that. 
Um, um, no, uh, yeah, so it's, no, it's exciting. It's exciting to see, uh, you know, just the, the different ways um, he used his personnel groups in the past. And uh, obviously, you know, this is a, one message that he always says. It's, you know, it's, it's players over plays, you know. So we're going to put the best guys on the field like we always will do to have success, whether that's, you know, three tight ends, whether that's one tight end, whether it's zero tight ends, right? That's, that's our mentality and even our room, you know. We're going to do whatever we need to do to win football games. So, you know, Dave will put us in the best position to do that. You looked at, at uh, Payne Durham and his uh, ability to get touchdowns. 21 touchdowns from a college tight end is a lot. That's averaging five a year. Can you just speak to his red zone ability and what stood out to you about his tape specifically? Yeah, I mean, I'm, like I said, I mean, the <clears> – <throat> Pain, you know, I think, you know, where we got him in the draft, right, was uh, I had him, you know, possibly going higher. So when he fell to our spot, we were really excited about that. I um, think he has a big upside, right, a big upside. I mean, he has a big red zone target. He has a great feel for zones to get open, just understanding, working back to the quarterback, getting friendly to him. He just has a great feel for the game of football and really not having played it a ton. Right in high school, he just really played his senior year, and then he had his college career, obviously, where he was really successful. Um, so I, I think that his best football is ahead of him, and hopefully we can bring that out of him. And he's got a great attitude about it, and I have not had a chance to actually work with him yet. Um, but this weekend, looking forward to just getting my hands on him, and um, you know, he got a new toy, so it's fun to be able to see what that toy brings. Cool. Appreciate you guys. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you.